Alright ladies and gents, so I have something very peculiar to tell you guys, and it's this. Inside of my comment section, there is this virus known as a fake ion clash that's been going around, oh I don't know, maybe 30 to 50 of my videos, and then commenting, like this comment, and I will do a face reveal. But, it's a fake ion clash. And 50% of you guys did not like it because you know that I specifically said that I will not be doing a face reveal for 50,000 subscribers. The other 25% of you guys are smart enough to know and check that that is not something that I would comment. And of course, I beg for likes in such a manner. So, if you guys think about it, there's 25% left, right? And that 25% liked the comment and now believes that I'm going to be doing a face reveal, which kind of ticks me off. So, if you see this fake ion clash, Please mark it as spam. I don't understand what this person is achieving or accomplishing by going around and doing this, but I will try to block you as soon as possible. And if I see you in the comment section, then I will report you for impersonation. So just stop, get, get a life, do something useful for a change. With a little bit of negative news, we need to brush it off with a little bit of positive news, so I've decided exactly what I'll be doing for 50,000 subscribers. And it's actually what a lot of you guys asked for. And in that video I said, don't leave a comment saying face reveal. And some of you guys still did, but a lot of you guys decide to comment some unique things. Some of you guys said giveaways, but the majority of you guys said setup tour and I do have a decent setup and I thought I would give my whole setup a complete Clash of Clans theme and then make it like a ultimate Clash of Clans setup tour 2016 type of thing, you know how all the tech reviewers do it. So I thought that would be a really fun video to do with 50,000 subscribers. Also, since my desk is, well, it says a little bit about myself, maybe you guys will get to know me a little bit better since you pretty much don't know anything about me, so that's something. Alright guys, without further ado, let's start this Clash Royale vid. What's up ladies and gentlemen, so I try not to do these type of videos where there's a replay playing in the background instead of me actually portraying what I'm trying to show off to you guys, but unfortunately Clash Royale recently updated, and since I'm in the USA I can't get the update, I need to make another iTunes account and do all that jazz, and I'm not going to waste time on that right now, so that is why this video is going to be full of replays, but that doesn't mean that I'm not ticked off at Clash Royale in general. So number one is of course that losing connection button, and there's two types of people when it comes to seeing that cool little, little tiny little logo that appears and starts flashing as soon as you know you're about to lose connection. So you can do two things, you can either sit there and watch as your base gets destroyed and cry because you actually did lose connection, or if it's just Clash Royale trolling, which it's usually Clash Royale trolling, you can go ahead and try to close the application and reopen it as fast as possible, but by then you already know that the other person's done something crazy because they've seen that you have left the match. They're like, yes, this is an opportunity, let me go ahead and completely destroy this guy while he can't even do anything about it. So that's my number one pet peeve. Number two on our list has to do with last minute arrows, alright? So we've all had this kind of happen to us if you play the game at this point. So basically you're, you're like, alright, it's gonna be a tie, it's all good, my second tower still has a good amount of one, uh, it still has a hundred health left, um, the other person can't do anything, and then there's about two seconds, one second, and the guy launches a set of arrows at your tower, and it takes it out. This goes for the other way around as well, because the one time that you send arrows to the other person's tower, basically their tower has like like 0 0.2222 health left and you end up not getting the star. I feel like that thing always works to your disadvantage. The arrows last second. Nothing ticks me off than losing an entire star or better yet losing the entire match because someone sent arrows or some way destroyed your tower in the last two or three seconds. Okay, number three. So having no elixir when your prince is charging. This this can be bad, okay? So basically, you just sit, put down your P.E.K.K.A, it got taken out, you just put down your Loon, it got taken out, and you, you basically can't put anything down. This person, the other person on the other end, thinks it's a great idea to release their Prince at this exact moment. The Prince charges and you have absolutely nothing to stop it. Heck, your Elixir takes so long to load that the thing, the Prince actually takes out half your tower before you manage to put something down, and that doesn't even distract the Prince. It just slowly the prince keeps hacking away at your tower as, I don't know, maybe a bunch of barbarians that you put down finally start to uh, attack the prince. And that happens way too often. I don't know what exactly you can do. Some people carry those uh, skeletons, the four skeletons that only cost one elixir, but still, it's, it's tough. Number four on our list is having no arrows when the skeletal army is coming. 
So arrows play a big role in this game, don't they? So you got all these skeletons charging for your base, right? And they're coming, and they're coming, and they're gonna be doing two things. They're either headed straight for your tower, or they're headed straight for that giant you put down, and there's absolutely nothing you can do because you either didn't bring arrows, or you don't have it in your stockpile right now, or you don't have enough elixir, or something along those sorts, and your skeleton ends up taking out, or the other person's skeletons end up taking out a whole tower, or better yet, ends up taking out your precious prince, or giant, or whatever amazing troop you put down thinking ha I just won this game all right number five most of the top replays are boring and they really are I feel like they should let us decide what the good replays are they should put like I don't know I, I keep the system okay keep the really good replays using the algorithm that decides what replays are good and which ones are not but then let us have a like button and a dislike button or better yet an upvote and a downvote button kind of like reddit that way we get we get to decide which replays are actually worth watching and then we can let everyone else know that this replay was good and you guys should all watch it as well instead of just us having to go through 10 replays a day like no one is going to watch those unless there's some way of letting us know that we should actually go and waste the time to watch these replays. Number 6 is something that they can so easily fix but they have not yet. It was worse when the game first started and it kind of got improved, okay? It's completely random, I don't even know if you guys have this happen to you, but it happens to me all the time and I'm on a freaking iPad, okay? So I have this giant iPad with a giant send button in the chat and I'll type something up, maybe a long message, and after that I'm going to click the send button. The keyboard's going to disappear and my sa uh, chat message is going to disappear as if it's sent. Then I'm going to wait about 7 or 8 seconds and I'll be like, where's my chat message? I'm going to click the keyboard thing again and I'm going to see that it never sent. It's as if their send button is like, nah, I don't feel like working for you right now, so, eh, whatever. And number 7, Expos. Expos. That's right, Expos, okay? Last I checked, inside of Clash of Clans, when you put down an expo, it will try to attack the closest thing. I'm pretty sure it doesn't lock onto a target, or maybe it does. Maybe I'm, maybe I haven't played Clash of Clans in long enough. But regardless, someone puts this down, right, and it's completely in range of your building, and it starts shooting at your building. You can't do anything about it, but take it out. You put down your giant. It's not going to automatically switch to start attacking the giant. It's going to keep attacking your tower, and it's probably if you put down an expo you could probably take out someone else's tower in about i don't know five six seconds not completely but halfway at least and by then they'll finally have maybe taken out your expo those things are too op and the top level players those people who know how to use expos to their advantage and protect their expos maybe like an expo and then inferno behind it and then skeletons behind that like i've seen some people using it's absolutely ridiculous and a win every single time Alright, number 8. Another thing that ticks me off is the chest system. So, I guess it's kind of cool that it's based on chance of what chest you get, when you get it, um, what troops you are, but at the same time, I really believe in the Clash of Clans system of you really earning everything you get with hard work and attacking and loot and things along those lines. While here, I feel like it's all Supercell's power. They decide when a person levels up. They kind of decide when a person gets a certain amount of XP in a chest, and I feel like they tried to make it as fair as possible, but... I get, it's not fair that the guy who is the number 10th player in the world somehow got really really great chests and I did not get amazing chests maybe he got like 56 magical chests or whatever you call it and I only got like two um, simply because of the fact of chance but at the same time I feel like gems also play a role into it Supercell knows that people are going to end up spending gems and if they think that it's by chance they'll just end up spending gems until they get what they want and it's brilliant on their part but it's kind of not which leads me to number nine they're hungry for gems well we're hungry for gems they are hungry for cash which is pretty much worse than gems because here's the thing here's what they did in the last update which i can't get to yet so rumor has it they increased the prices on gems why i like their pricing like it was 89 cents now it's a dollar 29 for 80 gems how does that make sense? I I really, really don't like that. It's like, hey, give us more cash just because why not? So I guess all you guys who gemmed before the prices went up, <laughs> good for you. Alright, so here's a cool little thing that I don't like very much and others completely despise. In fact, Colson just stopped playing the game because he hated this so much. So for some reason, it's like we go on winning streaks and we go on losing streaks and it's as if it happens, it seems to happen randomly or it seems like we just randomly start sucking, but I feel like Supercell somehow decides to give us harder players when we either have our chest things fold up, uh, filled up, or I don't know, somehow they decide it and it's like once we start losing, we just get another 
another loss and another loss and before we know it we're under 900 trophies we're like come on really that's not the way i want it i just want to keep attacking and doing it for fun not because i kind of have to or anything along those lines but apparently losing streaks are just too common as soon as you're on a slight losing streak it's as if you simply cannot win then you'll go on the next day and you'll think yes my losing streak is finally done but nope you'll just start getting another loss but sometimes there are winning streaks as well so it does balance out number 11 is something that some people have started to do and it's kind of been taking me off so to distract the player on the other end they keep sending the smiley faces or the angry face or chat messages in general i don't know why they do this but they just keep spamming it they go click it off click it click it click it and i just keep seeing it over and over and over and i'm so focused on this darn thing that i simply cannot uh, raid correctly or be focused and actually try to win and every single time i find some this isn't very common at least but every single time i do find someone doing this i end up losing it's it's brilliant but at the same time like we should be limited to like chat messages before and after or like once in the middle or once every minute or something along those lines but chat message spam people learn to abuse everything don't they and finally number 12 something i've been complaining about the entire video but now i'll be formal about it basically why is it not available on in the usa yet uh, at least on the usa itunes store better yet why is it not available on android like android is like your biggest thing how are people gonna find out about this game okay fine i understand why they didn't do it they want to really polish the game figure out what type of gem system they should have how they should price the gems and things along those lines if we recall back to when clash of clans was released clash of clans was or originally released on itunes and then it took them a whole year for it to go from itunes to Cla uh to android so it was like do we have to wait a year for this game to appear on android that's really gonna tick me off i prefer recording on on my typical screen recorder than the pain that I've been going through trying to record on my iPad. So yeah, that's something, but here's something that really ticks me off. So the fact that it's only available in certain countries means I need to keep making new iTunes or at least changing my iTunes accounts to basically be able to even update the game. So I don't know why exactly they're doing this, but I don't know, it's been ticking me off since I'm trying to make videos on it. The average person's probably also ticked off, so please fix this, please release it on Android, please open it up to all countries, and please get better servers, you're a billion dollar company, I'm sure you can afford that, and a lot of people are waiting on you. So that's all I have to say about Clash Royale. If you guys agree or enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. If you guys want me to hit 50k, then you should probably hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment below as to what I told you guys to leave in the, at the beginning of the video. Thank you guys for watching, this is going to be me. Logging off. Learn to play, he'll teach you fast. Cause I know no compare contrast. With this competition, he fucking blast. Cause everybody be placing last. Variety, yeah, it's very fast. Like hundred videos, they getting past. Those iron links, you better click. Cause his videos are fucking sick. You better sell. Cause I really think that iron clash is the place to click. I hope you make it to seven digits of YouTube subs on both accounts. Yeah, talent, and you got large amounts. And YouTube views too large to count as we go. Yeah.